All right, guys, we are going to take our straw. So again, if you have that bendy part, make sure it's on the bottom. So put the other side in your mouth and like chomp down so that it becomes very flat. So you want to squish it so that it's super flat and stuck together. The thing is, I'm really good at this because I do it every all the time at home. I know, I chomp on my straws too. So you want to have it super flat so that it's almost stuck together. Guess what? Um, I learned how to throw a curveball. All right. So once yours is flat and stuck together, you're going to cut the edges so that you make it into a triangle point. So you guys can see how I have like a point. Oh, that's only on one side? That Just on two? both sides. So I have, I've cut angled wise so that I made my straw that used to be rectangular and I cut it so that it's triangular on both sides. So just on one side or both? Both sides. So both of my sides are angled up. Okay. So I have a tip. And then you also kind of want to make sure that it's pretty close together. So I'm flattening it with my teeth again. And then we are going to basically turn this into a reed. So a reed is in a wood instrument, like a clarinet or a saxophone. It's a piece of wood that vibrates on the musical instrument. So we basically created, no, one that you play with your mouth. Like, so, no. Like a microphone? No, like a saxophone or a clarinet. So we created a reed. So we're going to put it in our mouth and it needs to be close. Yeah, and we're gonna play it, and it's gonna make noise. And it takes time and energy, and I'm very excited that my son knows how to make it instantly. My oh, I forgot we needed yet. to fold on both sides. We need to make it flat on both sides? No, my end over here hasn't been touched. Mm -hmm. so you're coming into it, Aiden. He's just blowing through it. It's not working. Mm -hmm. Mine's not working yet either, but I promise it will. He's not shuffle. He's not blowing very hard. It's just going through and vibrating. You want the air to go between the two sides. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible, Miss Williman. So, if you guys can see, I have a little bit of room between. Mm -hmm. The air is going between the holes. Brianna? Mm -hmm. Bruno, you need to turn on your camera so that we can see you. It's not working. <laughs> See, yeah, I haven't seen yours going. Hi, right, Bruno. Stop. All right, Bruno, do you have a straw and a scissor? Yeah. All right, so chomp down one side of your straw so it's flat, and then you're going to cut the corners so that it makes a triangle on the end. Okay. I just throw like 10 straws. You just need the one. Not to stop. Ruby, have you gotten yours to work? No. Ruben, have you gotten yours to work? Nice, Sierra. I did this triangle yeah. thingy. I want to hear it. Miss Woman, I did this. Why but it's Sierra's turn. Hold on, please. Pressure's on. Juliana, have you gotten yours to work? Kinda. All right. Can I have another one? It sounds like a jazz. All right, yeah, kind of like, that's a saxophone that you hear in jazz. Cassidy. 
Cassidy, can you play yours? I want to hear. Nice. Connor, have you gotten yours to play? No. Okay, so you have your triangle and you want to lightly place it on your lips and blow through it. You're going to feel the vibration on your lips, the sound energy. Bruno, have you gotten yours cut yet? Sounds like I'm farting. I'm making a new one. Okay. Now, yeah, my okay, I, need a oh, yeah. I can't hear Bruno over here. Bruno, say that again. Oh, I haven't gotten mine. Okay. So, what do you guys think will happen if you cut off an egg and you cut it and you make it shorter? What do you think will happen to the sound? It'll, it'll get, uh, it will, the sound will get more high pitched. You think it'll get a higher pitch? I think it'll go lower. You think it'll go lower? My son cut off the end because he was curious. So if you guys are curious, you guys can cut off. I recommend doing a little bit and then keep going until you get to the end. Mine wasn't even, isn't even working. Mine either. It's not working, Miss Wilman. <laughs> Oh, did it get higher or did it get lower? Higher. It didn't work at all. Yeah. Did it work? I made it go higher oh. by placing my teeth on it. Oh. So do you think that your parents are going to love you playing this instrument through their house? Or you think it's no. done? No, 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 no. My dad is not Who wants to see my dog? Who wants to see my dog? No. Um, I'm, I'm living, I'm living. That's you no one wants to see you. Uh, you're not making Too one. Too bad. The one. Okay, nice. Keep it still. No, because it's already ruined. No, I can say. You have three seconds to make a choice. No, it's not. Very cool, guys. Bruno, have you gotten this to work? <laughs> at all. Do you guys see my dog? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I can't see your dog. Well, I'm really excited. Um, some of you guys joined in. But like I said, next week, we have to do science experiments. So they're in the packet. So you guys can choose to do science experiment with me on Friday. Or you can choose to do the science experiments on your own. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. I'd really like it if you guys came and joined me on Fridays to do the science experiments. Can I do both? Absolutely. So this, if you do it on your own, Aiden, just take pictures so you get the credit, and then you can always join me on Fridays to do it. Aiden, can, can you write in the chat? All right, guys, I'm going to leave can this open so that you guys can talk to your friends for the next about five minutes, and then I will see you guys on Monday for Sierra's scavenger hunt. Yay! All right, like I said, I'm going to leave this open for the next five minutes so you guys can talk to each other.